Um, uh, Bruce Campbell. I don't know if you were here for the earlier submissions on, on this subject. No, no. I'm in okay. agreement of anything else. No, 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 no. I just, um, there's been a lot of debate around the, well, not debate, but a lot of submissions on this subject, so people are pretty familiar with the, with oh. the detail of it. And, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank well, you. Thank you for the opportunity to make a submission. Yes, I'm Bruce Campbell from 542 Yorthurst Road and I'm speaking on behalf of myself and also my adjacent neighbours. I have, um, I will not go through all that I've written here, it is there to be read, but in principle I'm objecting to the uh, removal of the rural rebate and I base it on um, different points. The first one being on the basis of the user pays and the national the natural fairness of it. Um, as you will be aware then that um, we receive very few services from the council. Um, no sewerage, no water supply, no stormwater system, no footpaths, no street lighting and the council has not had to provide the capital nor the maintenance for these services. Um, that And the ongoing um, maintenance and the capital costs that was involved in these would exceed what the, uh, the rebate would be on the rates. And, um, and I'm sure that, and we, that the rebate was given because of these rural properties had to provide their own services, not because that they were farmers. And on the second basis, I received a letter from um, Mr Steve Ballard when I inquired about this about um, the basis for changing this uh, uh, rate rebate and it was to do with whether a place was being actively farmed or not. And uh, his uh, rationale for it was that the that, uh, policy, that the rating policy was based on had to be the 25% discount on the general rate, it had to be active farming. Well, I do not believe that active farming is dependent on land area. It should be based on the, the, the function that is happening there. The land area is being proposed as a determinant of active farming to avoid reliance on the judgment of individual rating staff. Ground area is no way a relevant determinant of active farming. The nature of the enterprise being carried out on that land is the only relevant determinant. This judgment need not be left to the City Council individuals. This judgment has already been carried out by the IRD and it may be made available to the Christchurch Council. Thirdly, the use of the property is designated by the City Council. In the past they have always said that um, because it was in the airport influence zone, uh, the purpose was to, for it to continue as a primary production area and farming was the um, main stay there. And um, so I'd like to point out that in our area that active farming is being carried out by the neighbours supporting the submission. There is stud deer breeding, there's market gardening, there's cattle raising and each operation is carried out on less than five hectares. Our own property is in alignment with a stated city council objective mentioned above. Our operation is an intensely farmed organic export apple orchard and is a full-time occupation. It's certified by BioGrow and assure quality for export to most countries in the world. These certifications confirm that our highest standard of environmental farming practice is being complied with. Our orchard is the only organic export apple orchard in Canterbury. We're an employer of local labour. For the land use to continue to meet the CCC's aspirations, a rural rebate should be maintained to encourage rural use of the land. To remove the rebate would be a disincentive to farming. So I, I object to the removal of the rural rebate on the principal size alone should not determine what is a rural property. The fourth and more contentious one most probably is the limited use of the land in the area that has been known as R5, but I think that is under undergoing a change too. 
but the dominance of the Christchurch International Airport over Rural 5 Zone limits the free use of the land. For this reason, the land has limited the long-term potential and is only suited for rural use. The airport has ultimate authority over the use of the land, not the landowner. The use of the land can be put the use that the land can be put to keeps getting further restricted by the airport and, and keeps getting further restricted, added to the Christchurch City Council long-term plan. We are tenants on our own land and we do not have that free use of that land. So I object on the basis that this is really rural land, should be rural land, and we have not got the full use of land. In the letter from the Christchurch City Council, the, uh, they notified the proposal saying that the rate rebate, this was not to increase or decrease the rates. But I believe that the rate increase is significantly increased by this rate rule rebate removal. And my suggestion is that the council needs more income. I, I think an upfront and honest approach with the council levies a rate across all ratepayers for a capped number of years for a fixed purpose, say the earthquake recovery, recovery for a period for, of the long-term plan would be the way to go. A levy that is transparent, I'm sure, would be acceptable to the majority of ratepayers. And I, for one, would be happy to contribute. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, as I've said to other submitters on the subject, we're having um, a good look at the um, policy as part of our final deliberations on it, but we'll certainly be taking these matters into account. Well, I hope they're more eloquent than I was. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, no, you were very eloquent and very, um, very good. Thank you.